Hi! Do you want to know which is the most reliable VPN? Then watch this video to the end. In it, I will tell you about the most reliable service in the best VPN category. I have been working with this service for over 5 years now, and it has never let me down. It's a great privacy VPN that gets you all your important tasks done with ease. I will tell you some useful life hacks that may be useful to you. It's about Proton VPN. Now take a close look at the screen. I will show you everything with an illustrative example. Proton VPN isn't the biggest, brightest, or even the cheapest VPN, but it's still one of the best services available. It places great emphasis on user security and privacy and has a great client that is very easy to use. It also offers a suite of advanced privacy tools, usually for much more expensive products. Despite all this, and for its awesome free version with no data restrictions, it is an editor's choice winner in one of the best VPNs around. If you are diving into a VPN, this is a great, risk-free way to get started. Most VPNs offer the same feature set for all price tiers. For these services, the tiers are not so much related to updates as to long-term subscriptions at a reduced rate. Proton VPN is going in the opposite direction. There is a 20% discount on an annual subscription versus a monthly subscription, but more generous features are also unlocked or added as you progress to the four price tiers. On the pricing range, Proton VPN includes speed classifications for their subscription levels. These are just estimates based on the expected number of users. Proton VPN does not limit your speed no matter which subscription you use. Free subscriptions have low speed because Proton VPN expects them to force many users to work on multiple servers, while paid subscriptions have high speeds because they have access to more servers and fewer users on server. The first tier of Proton VPN is a free offering that only includes three VPN server locations and only allows one device to be connected at a time. You also need to create an account with Proton VPN to access even its free tier. Despite these limitations, Proton VPN is unique in that it does not limit the amount of data that a free subscriber can use. The second tier is a Proton VPN Basic, which costs $5 per month. This layer provides access to all VPN locations Proton VPN has to offer, but limits you to just two devices and a subset of servers. P2P file sharing is allowed at this level. Malware offers unlimited access to its servers for a small additional cost of 5 euros per month. Plus account for $10 a month, which is the third of four price tiers. This tier allows you to access all VPN servers on the Proton VPN network and use up to five devices, the industry average. The third level also provides access to Plus servers. These servers are limited to the top two tiers of Proton VPN and are designed to be less congested and therefore more efficient. In addition, subscribers also gain access to the Tor anonymization network, which is rare. You don't need to use a VPN to access Tor, but it's nice. There are also dedicated servers for streaming media in the Plus tier. While Proton VPN has a monthly average price, the same cannot be said for its annual fee. The average annual VPN cost is $73.40 thanks to the huge discounts most companies offer on long-term subscriptions. A Proton VPN Plus account costs $96 per year. However, I don't recommend starting with a long-term VPN subscription. Instead, get a short-term free plan and see how a VPN works in your home, as well as the sites and services you need before making an expensive commitment. Note that Proton VPN now offers a two-year subscription option. It costs $79 every two years for the basic plan, $159 for the plus plan, and $479 every two years for the visionary plan. The plus tier also includes access to secure core servers with multiple hops, which are a bit unusual. These are servers owned by Proton VPN and stored in secure facilities. You can be sure that no one tampered with the servers to reveal your information. When you connect through the backend servers, 
your VPN connection makes two hops. First, from your device to the main servers, and then to the VPN server of your choice. If all of this is still not enough, you can upgrade to the visionary plan for $30 per month, which is the top of four pricing tiers. This includes all of the features listed in the previous tier, but increases the number of devices that can be simultaneously connected to 10. What you really get with the visionary plan is access to the highest paying tier of Proton Mail as well as encrypted email service. That means 20 gigabytes of Proton Mail storage, 50 email aliases, support for 10 email domains, and up to 5 users in a single email account. Proton VPN subscriptions can be purchased using a credit card or PayPal. You can make payments in bitcoins, but only when switching from one plan to another. Note that you can create a free account and then upgrade with Bitcoin. Proton VPN has announced its own cryptocurrency, suggesting that anonymous payments may someday be more tightly integrated with this service. Proton VPN reporting that it uses OpenVPN, UDP, TCP, and IKE version 2, another good protocol, in all of its Android, iOS, and Windows applications. The macOS app is only limited to IKE version 2, but Proton VPN says it plans to roll out OpenVPN support soon. In terms of distribution, Proton VPN covers 54 respectable countries, which on average far exceeds 52 countries provided by VPN. Proton VPN deserves credit for improving its geographic reach. The company now offers server locations in Africa an entire continent that is often overlooked by VPN companies as well as India. Proton VPN now has multiple locations in South America, another region that is often overlooked. Proton VPN is slowly but significantly expanding its global presence and actively seeking user feedback on which countries to add. Proton VPN provides servers in regions with oppressive internet policies, including China, Russia, and Turkey. Having servers in these regions does not necessarily allow users to circumvent censorship, but it can provide some security and privacy for the public. Note that recent legislation has prompted some VPN companies to remove their servers in Hong Kong. Proton VPN has good-sized server networks that have grown steadily over the years. Now it is 1,048 servers, a Proton VPN spokesperson says. The company only leases the bare servers dedicated to Proton VPN, meaning they are not leased to other tenants and are exactly where they say they are. Overall, Proton VPN appears to be fulfilling its stated goals of protecting user privacy and security, both through its policies and through its hardware and technology. Proton VPN's documentation states that the company does not lock user activity. To prevent brute force attacks on the password, it only stores the timestamp of the last successful login, which is overwritten after the next login. Proton VPN is open source for its applications, which means that any researcher can verify that there are no potential vulnerabilities. Its apps are also available on Android, a third party app store without Google. Proton VPN, however, has not been third party audited to its service, but notes that it has been audited with Mozilla. Proton VPN offers clients for Android, iOS, MacOS, and Windows. The company provides detailed instructions on how to set up a Linux machine to use the service. Since Proton VPN places so much emphasis on user privacy and technological excellence, you can expect Proton VPN to lack basic functionality and be a mess in general. It's a nice surprise that Proton VPN actually has a great and well-designed app that's easy to use and doesn't skimp on features. What's more, it has been a pleasure to use over the years. When you launch Proton VPN, it looks like a thin window similar to a mobile app. There is a very obvious button that takes you online quickly, which I appreciate. The app also shows your connection status, server selection, so you can quickly change VPN location and a switch for secure core servers. Clicking on the little gray arrow in the upper right corner expands the window to show the Proton VPN servers scattered across the map, as well as an estimate of network traffic in real time. 
you can search or browse for available servers, and I especially love that you can go to specific servers at a specific location. The app also displays what load a particular server is under, whether they are plus servers and whether they are dedicated servers for Tor, streaming, file sharing and more. Proton VPN includes a switch that stops web traffic on your computer if the VPN connection is down. This prevents your traffic from being exposed, even if only briefly. The app also includes a simple tool for split tunneling, that is, routing traffic from specific applications or IP addresses into or out of the VPN tunnel. Proton VPN does not offer static IPs for purchase, which is a bit disappointing. A static IP address is a clean address that is unlikely to be blocked. A company representative told me that Proton VPN may offer static IP addresses in the future. Proton VPN also doesn't include ad blocking, tracker blocking, or malware blocking, although I've been told that it plans to add some of those features very soon. While I love seeing these features, they can only complement and not replace standalone solutions, so losing them isn't a big deal. Highest tier Proton VPN provides access to the highest paying tier of encrypted email service, Proton Mail, although this service can be used free of charge or purchased separately for a lower price. Thanks for choosing us. Stay longer for more videos.